Firing up the grill and sitting on your deck sounds nice, right? Well, not if you're the guy who paid for the deck he never got. Tonight, investigative reporter Emily Sinovic is getting answers for the independence couple who is out thousands of dollars with no deck to show for it. Hi, I'm Emily Sinovic. I'm with KCTV 5 News. And Meet Greg Strand. This is how we did. Do you think this is an all right way to do business? Sir, don't take my microphone. I'm sorry. Quit sticking in my face. Okay. okay. Sir, that's not necessary. Okay. You need to leave her alone. Yeah. Okay. You need to leave, please. Okay. You're probably wondering why. Well, let me introduce Ken exactly. Wood. I got a barbecue sitting there killing the grass because I can't put it on a deck that doesn't exist anymore. Can you imagine much worse? A sunny day, a covered up barbecue grill, and a sorry excuse for a backyard you can't use. Mr. Wood can't. Not after he put down $6,000 for a deck that's looked like this for months. How shocked were you? Uh, I'm speechless. And for me, that's a major accomplishment. So that's why Wood called KCTV5 to figure out who is doing what with his money that should have paid for a lot more than this. Turn it up. Turns out he hired Greg Strand, who owns Home Renovation Service. You want me to rip that damn camera out again? Turn it off. Do you plan on giving him his money back? We are waiting on the per Look, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm not That's who got Ken to sign this contract for this deck. It's kind of got a wicked shimmy to it, don't <laughs> yeah. you think? Yeah. The City of Independence requires a permit to build the deck. We checked, and a permit was never issued. A company with a different name applied for a permit in February, but that was never approved due to an incomplete application. Strand says months later, he's still trying to get that permit. But according to the city's permitting department, those permits shouldn't take months to get. $3,000. Former employee for home renovation service, Lloyd Skiffington. That deck shouldn't have taken three to five days. Days? Yeah. Because we're talking four months now. Yeah. Skiffington says he quit home renovation service months ago. He says Greg Strand stopped paying him. To my knowledge, there's eight to ten people, customers right now, that have put down deposits that have either gotten nothing done or partial done. Give us our money back. It's a pretty simple request. Yeah, just give us our money back. No, you know, we, we don't, we'll, if we have to, we'll sue. I mean, we don't, we don't have any choice. Ken's not the first person to have that thought. According to court records on both sides of the state line, Greg Strand and businesses he's been associated with have been sued for thousands and thousands of dollars in civil court, dating back more than a decade. You know, robbing Peter to pay Paul and eventually Peter ran out of money. So we went to track down Greg Strand at one of his business locations off Neiman Road. Why is it taking four months? You tell me. I don't know. I can't tell you. I, I didn't don't take, know either. I didn't we, take we, we had, money. We, look, we had the permit. We've got it applied for. We were waiting on it to be issued. And then they come back and said, well, we need a big CAD drawing. We need this. We so need you're this. blaming the city of Independence? They had requirements that we didn't normally have to have for a permit. He did not want to explain much more. Do you think this is an all right way to do business? Sir, don't take my microphone. I'm sorry. Quit sticking in my face. Okay. okay, sir, that's not necessary. Okay, you need to leave her alone. Yeah. Okay. You need to leave, please. Okay. Excuse my language, but it's BS. It's absolute BS. It's just another excuse. I also contacted Home Depot, the business who recommended home service renovation to build Kenwood's, well, partial deck. It's part of their pro referral program. After KCTV5 called to let them know what happened, Home Depot contacted Kenwood and is now giving the couple $6,000 to cover the cost of the deposit. A representative from Home Depot says that the customer is always their top priority. And with the referral service, they always do background checks, including a check for licensing and bonding. Home Depot also tells me they are now investigating home renovation service. For information on how you can protect yourself and find the right company for your next project, just go to our website at kctv5.com and click on Found It on 5. I'm Emily Sinovic, KCTV 5 News. So glad that there is a, a good follow up, a good, you know, a good outcome for, for that family. Good on Home Depot for doing the right thing. $6,000 yeah. is a lot of money. It is. And for those people to have to wait that many months and essentially get nothing, that was wrong. Yeah. And the employee said it should take a couple days. Should take a couple days. You're right.